What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We are here, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Season 11, Episode 4. Last on, the gang hit the slopes. And it was a fun episode. It was a fun episode, really wacky, goofy. Uh, a bit on, you know, classic 80s, 90s, even early 2000s, you know, skiing movies like that. And I remember watching one in, in I think it was either school or his band, or uh, band was part of school. But I remember watching a movie in band class. It had nothing to do with band, but it was something like that. Regardless, very fun episode. I'm excited to see what happens next. Let's get into Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Season 11, Episode 4. And 3, 2, wing. You guys are going to feel hella stupid when you see me acting in a feature film. Yeah. Oh. Hella. Are we saying hella now? Because I like it. No, we're not saying hella, okay? No, nobody say hella anymore. Hella. Really say hella came yeah. wet. Dude, can we watch something hella. else? Can we watch like a superhero movie or something? This is I remember a time when hella was used a lot. I mean, I still use hella, but not that much. Symmetrical Vista? It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Directed by Pedro Villas. Who's he? It's like this foreign art house director. Uh, foreign. Very impressive. Okay, you guys be quiet. This is my scene. Pretty early for a whiskey. We're pretty late. Why don't you make it a double? Oh yeah, a little hair of the dog that bit you. Yeah, no. the, I, I gotta hand it to you. you. You you've been talking about doing this for years, and that oh, is that Richard Grieco? Mm -hmm. Oh, Grieco, I love that guy. Where's he been? Richard Grieco is in an art house movie. That seems odd. That's a little strange. Yeah, it's a little strange. But you know, they they always gotta get some kind of a name in order to finance right. it. Oh, now he's being blown. This makes sense. Uh, so, D, you clearly made a porn. This is a porn. What? No, it's not a porn. You guys, it's the foreigners, they have a much more evolved. The, the foreigners. This is this is art. I mean, there is some truth to that. Even uh, a lot of foreign movies are. Cinemax. Cinemax doesn't make art. You guys. That blue. Uh. Foreign director. Where is he from? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. You made a Skinamax flick with a Puerto Rican pervert. Congratulations. Good thing you got us all together. Listen, hey, I did not make a slut film. Gobble that cock. <laughs> Gobble that cock. <laughs> Dean made a smut film. Uh... Porn. I think he thought he was doing the next Fifty Shades of Grey or whatever. I mean, it's a, it's a fine line these days. Fifty Shades of Grey is... It really is. Art's a tricky thing. Is the not... The world is bullshit nowadays. I mean, like, anything could be considered art. I'll bet you Charlie's doodlings could be considered art by some people. True. Probably. Put that shit on Reddit or something. You're not an artist, dude. You're drawing with chalk. No, I'm drawing with marker and, like, pen and stuff. I'm just eating the chalk. Charlie, don't eat chalk. Well, it settles my stomach. I'm just stomach. eating the chalk. Eat a Tums. What's the difference? What is chalk? Well, I'm not wasting Tums. Tums is very good to draw with. This maniac is an artist? <laughs> Take my erotic memoirs, for example. <laughs> now, that was art. That was smut. No, dude. What I do is art. And you know what else? I think I should film it. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's just, fool, it's just going to be porn. Wave. Our culture seems to be on, film it, do the next Fifty Shades of Grey, my style, you know? My film would be real, it would be tasteful, it would be it would be subtle, it wouldn't be some goddamn Puerto Rican smut. I'm down to try this, like, art gallery idea of yours. What do you think Rico would do? <laughs> he wouldn't <need> <laughs> Yes, but I just don't understand why you're choosing to dress Charlie's fit. Bro, and I'm a cool bro, and I just want to do a Greco thing. I'm vibing with it. Stop I'm saying that you're vibing and. I'm vibing with it. <laughs> All the slang is now. We're, man, we're in the later seasons now. It makes sense. She's going for it. She loves it. She loves it. She's going for it. Uh. Uh. Oh, what the hell are you doing? You can't throw art in the trash. Oh, that wasn't art, it was garbage. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. I mean, Damn. How, how is that art and this is trash? I mean, who's to say, really? I'm gonna be honest, that's kind of... The, I... the story behind each piece is part of what endows it with meaning. For example, this artist worked for 30 years before finally finding his voice. He left his home when he was a boy to escape the Nazis, fled to Paris, and painted the poor children he saw on the streets. Ambiguity he uses to paint children and animals and his work provokes, it raises questions. Are we 
children? Are we animals? Are we children? This is literally just that was literally Context? like the mo the world at war okay. fucking okay. intro. <laughs> Explain to her how your life is garbage. So that uh, she my life's pretty sweet, bro. <laughs> bro. He's an illiterate janitor whose mother tried to abort him and is all Frank, Frank. <laughs> Frank is still just locked in. Man enters. The room wouldn't be the only thing he'd enter that day. His name was Dennis. I'm I'm sorry, what is that? Silence. Oh, he said, a woman's mouth is not for the exiting of words, but for the entrance of a man's dick. <laughs> oh, oh. And then he did put it in there. Oh. In her mouth. In her mouth. <laughs> in this accident. You must think I'm somebody else. Look, look. Sure, I could leave here right now. I could take this to Frank and he would finance it. But he's gross. You know, he's basically like the Cinemax of humans. Okay, I think I'm catching up here. So you want to make a film based on the pornographic book you're reading from? Look, this is my Fifty Shades of Grey lady, all right? Was the guy who wrote that gross? It was written by a woman. Yeah, you know, I know. That it was written by a woman. Everybody knows that. <laughs> you know, let me get to the, this was also written by a woman. No, yeah. Wr written and to be directed by my sister. What do you think? Hey, I mean, he's lying, but this is a good way to get his I, sister. I'm finally figuring out this editing software, and I have to say, I put together a pretty prime time acting reel. I doubt. Oh. Is she using Movie Maker? Early for a whiskey. God, I used to use Movie Maker. The dog that bitch it. Using a multi tier distribute, multi level marketing Invigoron system. The Invigoron system. <laughs> Every actor these days is a multi hyphen. Yeah, they're doing everything the writing, the directing, you know. So here's a thought I just had. How would you like to um, direct my erotic memoirs? I've always wanted to direct. And you want me to do it? Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Smart. You bring a female perspective in. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting layer. I like that. Yeah. That's <laughs> a good layer. yeah I'll do that. I'll do that for you. Okay. So, um, great. So you'll do that. Yeah. And yeah. Um, now we just need a star that we can attach on on short notice. Don't worry. I got I got an idea. I love ideas. Written, directed. Oh. I've never even heard of this dude, if I'm going to be completely honest. Maybe it's a little before my time. I need you to draw something that's profound, you know, that comes from someplace deep, but is also childlike and stupid, to prove my point. Hey, bro, uh, maybe stop telling me what to do all the time, you know, because if you tell me what to do, then, like, you know, that's like, I got, like, a lame kind of square dude telling me what to do, you know, and that's not really where art comes from. Okay, dude. And so I'm going to draw eggs that represent <laughs> eggs, bro. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be hella cool, man. No, it's gonna be hella cool. Do you, do you want to sell this art or not? Bro, is this about making money for you? Or is it about proving your point? Like, I don't even know what it is, man. It's becoming about both for me. I don't know what it's becoming for you. Come on, man. I'm Come on, man. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, he's right on, right on, man. Hey, he's ah. Ah. I found him turning tricks in the scrap metal yard. Good news, Charlie. We're gonna use cricket now. Oh. Use me how? Use what part of me? <laughs> you are gonna be the face of Charlie's art. What? Why, man? Ooh. Because he's got, like, the worst life imaginable, and that's clearly what those people want. That's true. I do have the worst life. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Crooks? Why don't you go over here? Why don't you tell Charlie what to draw? Okay. Tell me what? I don't want to draw his drawings. No, Charlie, this is going to work. All right, just jump on board. Jump on board. Okay, go ahead. Go. All right, bro. Instead of a oh. ghost writer, it's a ghost drawer. Convince her to come to Patty's for an art opening that we're going to have here. You know, flash a little cash. Pretend you're, like, a high society art type. I used to hang with an art crowd in the 70s. I know these people. Oh, okay, all right, but, but play it subtle, all right? Subtle. Yeah. Frank, play it subtle. Subtle. Hello! Ungo <laughs> Gablogian, the art Ungo Gablogian. Sure. sure. Yes. I'm going to invite you to a show. Just that cut and then the hair. And I'm going to destroy your gallery. Oh. Bullshit. 
Bullshit. Derivative. Derivative. Matt, I love, I absolutely love. Um, that's just the air conditioner. I want it. It's everything. I mean, look at us. We're just air conditioners. I mean, after all, we're yeah. just walking around on the planet, breathing, conditioning the air. <laughs> and I want to feel a little bit of, uh, of sadness coming from your tits. And action. A woman's mouth. Cut. It's not for the exiting of words. It's for the... Okay, you know what? I, I, I need a seaweed break. Rico, you've had 15 packages of seaweed. Guys, yeah, Richard like needs a seaweed pipe. Another seaweed. Can you just get the scene, please, just like it was in high school. You know, about that, what exactly happened in high school? Because it sounds like you had sex with a teacher. Uh, well, no, she wasn't a teacher. She was a hot young librarian. Are you talking about Ms. Klinsky? Yeah. She was like 50. Yeah, she looked good for her age. She looked like Rick Moranis. Moranis was always in pretty good shape, you know. Plus, when she took her hair out of the bun, she went from Moranis to Alanis. Gross. You were 14. So technically, you were raped. It wasn't rape. You can't rape a guy. Huh? Huh? You can't rape. Yeah, I was I was willing. You, know, you can't rape. I mean, it's cool. Like, I betted an older woman. That's cool. Bro right, was go. groomed. Well, let me use your pain. I, it explains a lot. You know what? That seaweed's making me a little sick. Uh, can I get a chalk break or uh -oh. something like that? A chalk break? <laughs> He's just Charlie. <laughs> I call this one dog three-way. Because I was recently in a dog three-way. Actually, four with me, so... Four -way. I was in a dog orgy. Oh my god, he's making a mockery of my art, bro. Well, the shoot was a total disaster. D's incompetent and a bitch, which we all knew. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys! <laughs> is that how you Hello, boys! This is it. This is the way they are. Frank, did you buy an air conditioner? Yes. And I bought a painting for 35K. Jesus. Why? Because this is rickety cricket. Hey yeah, he literally has the worst life imaginable. <laughs> he ain't lying. So now you got some perspective and some context and uh, like a story or- This art opening would be the perfect place to premiere my directorial debut. No, D, absolutely not. That's a hard no. Do they just film it in literally not even a day? Oh my God. Met a woman in the library. A thirst for knowledge. <laughs> a thirst for knowledge Come became on, a thirst. No, no, D, uh, this is ridiculous. For each other. They were passionate. They were one. That's the <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> but, oh my god. I mean, yes, but it's looks like Rick Moranis. Hey, Hoser, remember when I raped you in the library? Hoser, 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 okay, Hoser, thank you. Hoser. Hoser. Congo, what do you think? Millions. I trade my limbs for it. Well, the market is dictated by what people will pay, so. Well, well right, but how much are you willing to pay for it? Me. <laughs> No, no, I'm really not interested in buying anything. <laughs> but you own an art gallery. Oh, no, oh, I rent an art gallery. Or more accurately, my parents rent one for me. What? So that painting I bought from you was worthless? Of course not. Is art good just because the right people say it's good? Yes. <laughs> yes. I said I wasn't raped. We had a good time, she and I. It was a, it was a two-way road. The whole thing was mutual. <laughs> and the woman in no way looked like Rick Moranis. <laughs> yeah. She totally did. I remember her. Remember uh, yeah. her? Yeah. Oh, dog. I wouldn't even sleep with her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That is insane. That's so funny. That is so fucking funny. That was a great episode. That was a banger. That was a banger. Really did enjoy that. The gang's pretty much touch and opinion on art. 
They really don't know what art is. I mean, art is art is subjective. Art is subjective, just like pr- plenty of other things in in uh in this world. Reaction videos to some people could be seen as an art. Some people see it as lazy content. Some people see a sandwich from Subway as art. Some people see it as a sandwich being made by a worker. Some people see movies as art. Some people call movies as media. And that, that sure, yes. But I've seen people, like, they'll make memes or whatever, and they'll say, media slash content nowadays is just so bad. Or, like, it'll be... Will be like it'll just be referencing it'll be referencing something and they call like what should be either a movie TV whatever and they just call it media or content. I'm like bruh, bruh, what are you doing? Only time I'm ever gonna call anything media or content is I don't know. I call YouTube and Twitch stuff content and like TikToks content. Media, that's just in a broad sense. Like, everything is media. Like, whenever I think of the media, I just think of, like, social media, news, shit like that, you know? I don't think of, like, a movie as just a, a piece of media. I mean, it technically is, but I, I'm a part of the group, group of people that sees film as art. I think film is an art. I think... A lot of things are art. I also think a Subway sandwich is art. <laughs> Honestly. Depends on if you make it the right way. And like, it's a lot of things. It, 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 it's a very nuanced, very broad, it's a spectrum. Art is a spectrum. Art can be a literal fucking, you know, like the way your your hands are, like the things on... Like the lines or whatever, that can be seen as art. Your fucking fingerprint could be art, I guess. Um, just to say anything is art. But uh, regardless, really enjoy that episode. Very funny shit. Fucking, I assume Fifty Shades of Grey came out around this time. Yeah, 2015. Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And that movie was ass. That movie, that shit sucked. I'm sorry. I mean, I was young at the time, but that shit was ass. That shit. I even as a kid, I was like, "This isn't. This isn't sexy." Ah, <laughs> <sighs> regardless, enjoy that episode quite a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram, and all social media down in the description below. I'll catch you for another video.